Oh, real fast, show me uh, Simon Property Group. I think they're on the upside this morning. Uh, yes, they are. Uh, they've got, uh, they've revised their merger deal with Talbot. This is all about control of shopping malls. David Barnson knows more about this. Uh, David talked about uh, the Simon Property Group. He likes uh, rising uh, dividend yields, and I think Simon Property Group offers that. Is that right, David? Well, they certainly offer an attractive dividend, right? Right now, all the cuts in net operating income from the shutdown, they're still paying out a 7% yield. And this news with Taubman this morning, combined with the vaccine news going into 2021, is about as good as could be for a Simon property. 7% yield at $79, $80 a share. Is that right? 7%? That, that's correct. And remember, it's a REIT, a publicly traded real estate investment trust, which means its dividend is 90% of its net operating income. And so they have to maintain that net operating income. But Simon Property, Stewart, and we talked about this last Thursday on your show, has much less leverage than it did in, on its balance sheet going into the financial crisis. So they have a lot more financial flexibility. They're able to do better workouts with tenants. But they've had this lawsuit with Taubman hanging over them, and they fully settled that. And they're getting the deal at an 18 percent reduction in price. It really has worked out quite well for Simon shareholders. And 7 percent yield, dividend yield. I will take it. David Barnson, thanks for being here again. We'll see you soon.